Hello, everyone. Um, so first, thank you for having me again at the ZX seminar. So today I will talk about uh, a non-anionic QD the ZW calculus. Um, so basically, I will I I will talk about. Uh, let me first uh, um, mention some background, and then I will talk about the details of the uh, non-anionic uh, QD the ZW calculus. I'm sorry for you guys, maybe you have already know this very well. So, but I still want to, um, to give a, a, a rough de description of process theory. So, um, um, so we know, so everything in the world can be seen as a process uh, according to uh, Alfred Whitehead. Um, so um, then, so there is a mathematical framework, which is symmetrical model on the category. Um, it can be seen as a formalism for our general processes. And each process uh, is a change. So it can be seen as a change from something untyped as A, and just give name a type as A to something typed as B, so which is denoted uh, by a diagram. And uh, so here so we read it from, I uh, draw it from top to bottom, like this box. And then, then two, um, two processes um, that happened sequentially, that, that means it happened one after another, they can be uh, denoted as a, as a sequential uh, connection of the, the two boxes, which represent the two processes. And on the other hand, two simultaneously happen process, processes then can be um, depicted as two um, boxes, uh, which, is pre which are pre placed uh, in parallel. So that's the um, general um, operational meaning for, for processes, uh, for the composition of processes. Um, and then, so if, since we write the diagrams in in a uh, plan uh, in a plan, right? So that means we have to so for two simultaneous happen processes. So we have so we have to put one on the left and the other on the right. So, but this this is a kind of artificial um, uh, asymmetry because why not uh, one on the right, one the other uh, the other on the left. So, so we need a uh, symmetry process, which is uh, uh, written as a, a swap um, to, uh, to break this artificial asymmetry. And to basically means uh, if we swap the positions of two boxes, they should be essentially the same if you can uh, still uh, keep all the uh, types matching. So that, that means if you can have this diagram, um, so that that's why we need uh, uh, the symmetry, the symmetric process in the uh, process theory, and also, so in addition to the left-right symmetry, we we would like to have uh, uh, up-down symmetry. That means if we turn a diagram upside down, then uh, essentially the property of the the corresponding process uh, should not be changed if the types are still uh, uh, still keeping. So that means we can use, uh, in processor, we can use a uh, uh, self dual compared structure uh, in the following way, such that uh, these two are equal. So, uh, so, so with, this, uh, with the help of this uh, self dual compact structure, we can, we can realize the left, uh, the up down uh, symmetry. And so, uh, and to some rights, we can, we now have, have obtained a compact closed category, so which could characterize the interaction of general processes and, and the composites, composition, and uh, this can compose the, the backbone of the uh, categorical quantum mechanics, we call CQM. But however, so that's not, uh, that's not the whole story, that's, uh, um, that's can be seen the, uh, a part of the story, but if we want to apply, as we usually do, 
apply for accessory to a particular to solve a particular problem like a quantum circuit optimization or quantum entanglement classification, then we need a fine grained version of the accessory. That means we need um, to give the details to all the box to fill in something to, into the box. Um, and so uh, two, there are a lot of examples. So two typical example example of such a uh, grand uh, fine grand version is the ZS calculus and the ZDAP calculus. I mean, here in this talk, we focus on the ZDAP calculus, ZDAP calculus as a fine grand version of uh, CQM. Okay, so why we need uh, now any activity the ZDAP calculus? First, so uh, we know there is already a, a qubit ZDAP calculus, which is a graphic language uh, uh, characterizing relations between the G, H, Z, and W algebras, um, but, but, but also using undirected diagrams. So this qubit ZDAP calculus the W calculus is introduced by uh, is along the so called Fermionic uh, Fermi line by uh, by Amar in his uh, um, uh, in his uh, leaks paper uh, in 2015, um, but based on the work pioneer work by Bob and Alex Alex Kissinger. Uh, um, and um, that the, they they did they did some work uh, uh, on the com, com, uh, on the GGZ and the W since. So uh, also in Amar's thesis, uh, which finished in twenty seventeen, and the qubit ZW calculus uh, has been generalized to an arbitrary dimension uh, D in the uh, any anionic line. Mm, but uh, the anionic style QD the ZW calculus um, has a complicated interpretation for its W node and the white face node. Uh, as you can see here, the W node so is has the, the interpretation when we say it's a, uh, the, the interpretation of the W node is like this, and the, the uh, white face node is uh, with the with the a with the parameter is like this. So here they and they use the they use the um, the the uh, Q binomial numbers, so which uh, looks quite complicated, right? So um, we want to have a now uh, anionic QD ZW calculus for arbitrary dimension D, and uh, to avoid this uh, complicated coefficient like uh, uh, Q binomial binomial uh, numbers. Um, so. Uh, uh, let's have have a look. So, um, what kind of uh, um, generators um, this um, non anionic QD ZW calculus has? Um, so, so um, the generators of this kind of ZW calculus has uh, has uh, uh, quite similar generators uh, to the uh, to the anionic QD ZW calculus. I, I will show you the, uh, later. So basically, uh, it has the uh, the white spiders is actually the Z, Z spider, the, the Z spider, and also a W node, and and there is a, a crossing and the inverse of the crossing, and there is identity and the swap and uh, uh, and a cap and a cup. So um, the in the in the Z spider the um, face prime. The phase parameter actually is a vector, is uh, uh, which is um, has uh, has a d minus one uh, d minus one prime uh, components. Okay, so so once we have this, then we can define some um, other um, nodes like uh, uh, for the for this one is uh, is uh, um, if we trace the the output of the the white note, the, the black note, then we get the we, we get this dot, this co point, and uh, similarly for the um, <clears throat> transpose uh, of the black note, it can be defined in this way, uh, and for this uh, uh, state, and uh, as usually, and so if the parameter is just a vector of all ones, then we just uh, um, denote it by a white circle, and this is the empty. 
Um, and so, so what does this generators mean? So basically you can see, and this is a, and the usual, uh, um, this spider uh, in the uh, D, uh, in the D dimension space, D dimension space. And here you can see the, the first A, A uh, first uh, coefficient A zero is one and all the others as just the um, components in this uh, phase vector. And this W, uh, this W node is, um, uh, with one input and two output is, is this, um, is this uh, linear map. And this is just cat the um, bread zero. And this is a transpose, can be seen as a transpose uh, of this black node. And this is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the cat zero. And this is as a, uh, this as a, uh, this is uh, a, um, uh, we can see this is a, basically is a kind of a, a, um, higher dimensional, um, higher dimensional, um, I'll say, uh, control Z gate. Let's say that. And this is inverse. Uh, and this, this, this thing is just the, 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 uh, the usual, the standard uh, interpretation. Um, so, so here we want to point out that so in in comparing to the uh, to the previous um, ZW calculus and the generators of the ZW calculus, so except for the white spider and the black node, as as we point out at the beginning, the all the other generators, uh, including these two breedings, uh, tall and tall uh, inverse, they they are the same as the uh, any any the ZW calculus as given by Amar in his thesis. And also uh, in the uh, QB case, that means when D equal to two, then the black node is just the same as uh, the original one as shown in Amar's uh, first paper on ZW calculus, which is the, uh, on the green, uh, the, the black, uh, uh, the circle black uh, uh, nodes. Be careful here that there's also this, uh, this, this dot. So uh, in this case, they are the same. And so how, um, how about the loops uh, of this, and the rewriting loops of this uh, non-anonic QD the Z type calculus? So, mm, uh, so here I didn't, uh, um, because I didn't, in, in, in this paper, I didn't, I, I didn't prove anything about the uh, completeness. So, uh, so th this kind of loose is not uh, is not uh, uh, I'm not sure whether whether, whether it's complete, but uh, um, they are they, they are obtained from the um, from a, a you know a com comparison to the qubit the W calculus. So if you look at the uh, qubit the W calculus, you can see um, uh, this kind of loose are quite similar. Um, so, but, but because um, the the crossing now has uh, um, has uh, um, has two versions, it's uh, the crossing and the, the inverse of the crossing. So, uh, so, 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 um, so this loop means they they are uh, invertible to each other. And here, um, if you um, if you put put D, sorry. If we put a D uh, crossing uh, or, uh, or, or we say pretty to a D crossing, you put them, uh, you put them, you connect them uh, uh, one by one, and then um, then if D is is an even number, if D is even number, then they are just identity, and also uh, for the same um, for the uh, for the inverse with the crossing, but if D is uh, is odd, then uh, then if you you compose these d uh, crossings and then you get a uh, you get a swap you get a swap and the same for the uh, for inverse of the crossing. So so here any this loop any this loop here uh, it depends on the uh, the dimension on the dimension. Um, so for all the other loops, um, you can, as as you will see, um, it, it is independent of the um, and the dimension. So here, this means um, this you can you can 
uh, the the exchange and um, the commute, the, the the crossing and the swap, the, the 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 commute, or we can say the crossing is yeah, um, and um, and uh, they, they, they are some uh, some uh, um, natural transformation uh, um, properties of the crossing and um, is you can see is similar to the qubit case. And also, um, as regarding to the um, black and uh, the, the black note, uh, you can see it's symmetric and it has a unit. Uh, has this as its unit is an also associative, and this can be this can be uh, copied, and and also this can uh, can can how to say you can you can you can slide you can slide the the um, black node across this across this uh, two crossings. Then get this one. Uh, similarly for its inverse, and uh, and it's. Is a kind of symmetric in in, in, in relative to the uh, crossing, um, and also you have this, and also you have this, and this is empty, and this means it's a it's a is oh sorry, it's a kind of uh, like a, a, a hop floor for the uh, a kind of hop floor for the uh, let's say the the, the black nodes, um, and so here the minus one is a, is a vector uh, with components O minus minus one. And the third the third table of the rewriting rules is about the uh, uh, white spider. And uh, you can see this white spider as a, uh, the, the, the same as the usual Z spider, uh, which has the complex vectors uh, as the uh, um, face vector. And uh, th this this is uh, uh, similar to the cube case you can see, and here this is uh, is a kind of I'll say is a like uh, uh, use a kind of a higher dimensional Harma uh, Euler oil, oil decomposition of Harma gate, and this means the spy and uh, the white spider the white spider has uh, uh, and the, the the black spider they can they can have a kind of a, a, a biagible rule. And uh, and this rule is very interesting. I'm mentioning it later. Uh, that means that they get connected. Uh, the black node and the, the green the the, the 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 white node. If they and they have fully, they have two. That the outputs and inputs are get connected. Then 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 you have a disconnected diagram. And and here you can see this can be copied. This can be copied. Any face can be copied by the dark spider. It's the same as the qubit case. And here, that means these two faces uh, can be added by this. The two face vector can be added by this um, black spider, uh, and uh, it has a, a, a kind of a pi similar to the pi. The, the uh, like in 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 the ZS case, you can see any pi can be the the pi face gate can be uh, copied by the green. Uh, by the green dot, but here for any face case, for any face um, white, for any white face, it can be uh, copied. That means it deleted, it, it, it disappeared uh, according to this um, code state. Okay, that's the uh, roughly that's the rewriting rules. Um, so I just want to uh, have some simple. Uh, comparing to qubit the double calculus loose. So, and so as I mentioned before, the most of these loose are similar or the same as the qubit the double calculus loose. Um, but uh, something is weird. Um, uh, in general, that means in general, if the for uh, dimension higher than two, there's no the there's no biological loop between the two black nodes. That means you don't have this in general. Uh, for for the qubit case, you can see the 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 biological loop um, between the uh, the this the w um the the multiplication the, the this uh white uh, black multiplication and commutation they 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 very play they play a important loop uh, important role in in the like uh, for example the, the completeness proof of the w calculus but here you don't have this uh in the higher 
dimension case. Um, and also um, in the for the dark spiders, because of the associativity, then 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 we can define uh, we can define um, the uh, 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 which the dark spider with one with one input and m uh, and m uh, outputs uh, as this, and also you can have the uh, transpose right you can transpose uh, in, in the um, uh, as a, as a, uh, many inputs. So if you connect them, then you can have a, a spider sh shake uh, uh, w uh, um, w spiders. Uh, black uh, black nodes, and so so. But what what does it mean? What does this kind of uh, spider mean? That basically means um, means this. Uh, if, if input zero, then you got all zero. If input uh, input i i is from uh, uh, from one to d minus one, then you get uh, um, get a sum get a sum which in. Uh, it, which, whose term who, whose term has exactly one i in uh, in its uh, summation? So uh, similarly for its transpose, um, it's like this. Um, so here then uh, you can see especially then then we we'll find uh, something very interesting for this expression. So so so. Uh, so very recently, and um, I think uh, Richard and uh, and Pierre and uh, John, they have a paper uh, called "Spin Networks in the ZX Calculus." So uh, I just had had a rough look, but it's very interesting. Uh, and especially you can see here that, that they they use a crown, they use a crown like like this to represent, as they said, to produce produce the state, this state. So this is very interesting. Um, so. If you compare with this with this uh, expression uh, for d equal to two, right? For in the qubit case, then you can see that uh, um, the crown uh, to uh, this, actually, I mean, this state can be expressed uh, as this diagram with the white white uh, white dot uh, and connect with this uh, dark spider. So it's this is a very interesting um, connection. And also uh, another interesting um, property of the uh, non anionic QD ZW calculus is that, so usually, uh, and you can see that in this loo, I could WBH, so this loo, as I, uh, as I um, just uh, mentioned uh, in the rewriting loo table, and this, uh, you got two legs. If, if you just have two, the, 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 the two legs of the, um, the uh, W spider, and the, the uh, white spider, if they are connected, then they got, and then actually they got, they will get disconnected. Uh, this this quite uh, this quite uh, interesting because because just two wires are enough to get them disconnected. So not like the in the QD uh, ZS calculus. So the green spider, the, the same the Z spider, and the, the the X spider, the red spider. They needed usually they they needed d wires to get and disconnected. That means you you need d wires here, but for this w uh, the, for this z w calculus you just need two wire to to get the z and the w spider uh, disconnected. So this uh, seems very interesting. Uh, and then once we have this um, uh, this kind of uh, um, uh, z w calculus. And then uh, and you can have, uh, as I did, uh, as I did the, at the beginning of this year, I have uh, uh, a paper on the on the QD uh, algebra equal star QD to the ZX calculus. So so now you can have, like the in the qubit case, you can have a translation from ZX to ZW. So so the. Uh, the essential thing in the actually a lot of um, some of the generators of the ZX and the QD to ZX and the QD to ZW, they are the same. And the main difference is uh, like the Hartman gate, the, uh, the higher dimensional Hartman gate uh, in ZS, they, they can translate it into the Z and uh, this kind of ZW in this way. 
and the Harama inverse, the uh, Harama dagger can be can be um, uh, can be translated in this way. So that um, in the, you can see this is uh, the same case as for the Cupid uh, uh, in the Cupid case, and also the the, the triangle, uh, the Q, uh, the Q, uh, QD the the X triangle is also general, generalized from two dimension. Um, they can use um, they can be translated in ZW and uh, in this way this is uh, the, the similar case uh, the similar uh, uh, translation as in the uh, Cupid case and also uh, similar for the uh, inverse triangle um, so this translation of course they preserves the standard interpretation and that means they have uh, this translation they have the same uh, uh, the same corresponding matrices. Uh, and also um, um, the, other, the, the other direction from ZW to ZX, you can also have a translation. And uh, um, it, it's also, as you can see, it's also quite similar I mean, to the Qubit case. So here you can, the W, the W uh, node is, uh, is translated into ZX in this bigger, uh, triangle, and this swap is like uh, is like the, uh, this crossing is uh, translated to this this uh, higher dimension uh, uh, control Z. Anyway, I just call it like this with a swap. Um, so it's quite uh, similar to the cubic case. So um, so because uh, um, so here so then because of these uh, translations. Um, we can talk about the universality of the uh, of this kind of uh, ZW calculus. So here, universality we mean um, any matrix of a size uh, D times N, D, D to M times D to N. They can be expre expressed as a diagram uh, of this ZW calculus. So because the I don't want to talk about the details, but because um, the 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 QD the Z, ZX calculus as we just shown is universal uh, and there is a translation between them so um so you can see you can see that uh, the the qd the zap calculus is also universal and um, also if uh, uh, um you want to do something further you want to unify all the zw uh, zw calculus uh, then you can do the similar thing as we did in the Kiffin into uh, in the uh, QD the ZX calculus, and that means you can you can you can unify them as I, as I did in in this paper. Uh, you can unify them. You use 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 the um, uh, kind of um, uh, dimension splitter to to unify them into Kiffin into the into ZW calculus. So I just mentioned this. Don't want to talk about the details. Um, yeah, so that's basically the, the, the main thing. So for the future work, so of course we can we can we can try to com com to prove the completeness of the, this kind of uh, ZW calculus. And so I would expect to use the translations. So it need the first to uh, prove the completeness of the Q finite uh, the the QD the ZS calculus. And also, so one thing one thing we would try is to to think about the uh, the QD to entanglement classification classification problem um, to use this kind of uh, QD to ZW calculus. Um, yeah, so that's what I um, imagine um, to do. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Harley. Um, so I believe we have a, a, a question in chat from, from Leah. So Leah, Leah asks, uh, what's the difference between the crossing and the inverse of the crossing? And I assume here she means the crossing with the circle around it rather than the, uh, rather than just the regular swap in the, in the category. Oh, um, I asked this before the interpretation of the diagrams was defined. So I, I'm going to have the question. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry, so uh, what, 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 uh, 
was the question you have? Uh, I think the question has since been withdrawn because uh, it was asked before uh -huh. the uh, the interpretation was was shown. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, Harley. Yeah. I, uh, I have a question about this thing you said about uh, about about our paper about yeah yeah yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> um, I I thought about this, but I I thought like this the the W state is like a superposition where you have a single one everywhere. But here yeah yeah. So we also needed this like completely zero state. So then I couldn't figure out how to make this work. So is this fixed by taking the W state and plugging in a plus state or like a generalization of plus state into this thing or? Yeah, actually because. Um, you can see from you can see from here. So basically, if you that means uh, that state, that state is I mean this this, this state basically is the um, this one this one um, plugged with zero cat zero plus and this one um, plugged with uh, cat uh, one right. Mm. So so cat zero plus get zero one. So this is just the green, this is actually the green dot, right? Is the, the, the yeah. yeah, so that's it. Hmm. Well, I'm surprised I missed this, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I so, yeah, I just find it very interesting. Yeah, I, so, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, so I think that's Could you uh, maybe speculate a bit about why, um, why this this state or the kinds of states that are used in um, in this spin spin network type uh, physical system might be better expressed or more compactly expressed in in ZW, or is that too speculative? Are you asking me? <laughs> I either either you or John. I here, I, I mean, here I just pick out, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just pick out this case, but I mean, I, I think John knew, knew the, the whole story. <laughs> I, uh, Leah just alerted me from this passage about the original paper on ZW calculus that uh, Bob and Alex were speculating on. Um, that you have the G8 set, which allows you to make graph states, and then if you have the W state, it allows you to make even more complicated matrix product states. So, I guess if you combine these two things, it makes sense you can describe these sort of complicated things which are still um, based on just matrices with zeros and ones in them. Um, because these spin network things, like they're just still only things which have like zero ones and minus ones. So it makes sense that you have like GH, set and W things, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a very exact answer, but. <laughs> well, it was quite a, it was not a very exact question either. Um, so there's another question in the chat from uh, from Richie who asks if there is a simple translation from ZW to ZX, uh, can we? Is there a translation from ZX to ZH which also gives more compact expressions for the for the crown, for example? I, I suppose yeah. this one is actually aimed at John because uh, John's. Yeah, I I, uh, I think I'm gonna alert uh, Richard to this and um, tell him to look into the ZW calculus in this translation. Um, yeah, although to make a larger W state, you still need to iterate certain lower uh, W states. So it still won't be a super simple translation, but maybe it is simple. I have a question related to that. Um, so in in Z in ZW and Q, in a Cuvier calculus, I think the definition of your uh, your spider. Uh, well, there's the square box and the circle box, but um, the square box allows for any coefficient, any yeah. complex coefficient. Yeah. Um, I don't know how how to how to use the calculi. Once you have a square box of your desired coefficients, well, then you don't use actually the for the general uh, phase. I mean, for the uh, for this kind of phase is 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 commonly used by Z by the Q B the Z W original Q B the Z W and 
and in the edge calculus and in edge block the x calculus so what do you mean you don't know how to use it um let's say that you have some some uh coefficients inside your square box uh, -huh. uh is it uh does the zw calculus enable a way to a way to uh apply any rules that where the case is not that uh they are it is the complex uh so if you have phases inside your if you have complex coefficients inside your square box if it happens to be the case that it's e to the i alpha then you can translate it into yeah, a yeah. circle alpha yeah yeah but then, then the, you just draw this you just draw it as a circle yeah because you mm -hmm. yeah you just you just need to remember. so you, in this way you can combine the the original uh, zx the circle style so you you won't lose anything you can you get you can still use the fusion do and uh, of the z spider um just remember now you need to multiply multiply them yeah. okay so in other words you need to know how your square complex phases decomposes or can be rewritten into the circle phases in order to in order to reason about them yeah usually you just write like like the pi you usually like the pi you just uh, for, for the for the um regularly used one you just uh, write them in uh, in the uh, circle way mm. okay thank you yeah I also uh, I also linked what I mentioned to John. Um, so from the paper from Bob and Alex about the G relationship between GHZ and W states, they suggested that uh, matrix product state simulations of spin chains was an application of it. So I'll put that in chat. Uh, I, I also yeah I also noted. So sorry, you are, you're asking John, right? Oh, no, 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 I'm just adding to the comment that John made just so people have. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's very interesting because I also I also noticed that, that in, in Alex and Bob's paper that they mentioned the matrix product state. Yeah. It looks like Hector's got their hand up. So, um, hi. Uh, so, and I will try and put my hand back down here. There we go. Um, so in the original ZW calculus, you can have an arbitrary uh, ring and arbitrary coefficients from that ring next to your yeah. white spider. Okay, the yeah. original was had didn't have a ring, but like the 2017 version, yeah, not had a ring. Um, and your algebraic Z ZX likewise has arbitrary com uh, is it commutative semi rings? Yeah. Uh, in this. You are insisting that we have uh, roots of unity when we have the crossing. Uh -huh. Yeah, is that's that, the is, problem. Is that the if only we, restriction we have? Yeah, if okay. you want to have the if you want to have this uh, crossing and in the inverse of the crossing, then you have usually have the use of for uh, on the um, uh, complex num for on the com complex numbers. But if you drop drop of them. And then, then you can you can you can go to the general like stamina case. Um, but, okay. Yeah. So 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 is the so 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 where did the crossing show up in the translation from algebraic ZX to from from QDIT algebraic ZX to this? Where to, does to, it? Uh, so can um. Can be translations from yeah from uh, from ZX to ZW and so on. Um, just with, uh, they show up, they presumably show up in the, in the the D dimensional Hadamard. Uh -huh. Is that where they're coming in? But we are somehow c coming from something that 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 doesn't require complex numbers to something that does require complex numbers. I believe. Yeah, I mean. Uh... You 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 mean where does the 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 crossing come from? Yes, and it comes from the Hadamard, so that answers yeah. my question. Yes, cool. yes. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, is, is the reason? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, 
I was just going to say, is the reason why it's possible I missed this? Is the reason why uh, the traditional ZW is called anionic because it's based on? So you, you have this like uh, this crossing rule with the, um, the this like root, root of unity uh, type thing. Is it is it in some way related to um, to the um, anions that you get from um, from the cyclic group then? So it, it, is it is it related to the representation? So in uh, in the representation category of um, the double of Zn, you have this kind of rule where your your braidings um, admit additional uh, scalar phase factors, such that if you if you do it n times, then you reach back to uh, to unity again. Is 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 this is this a, is this naming? Uh, uh, are, are these related in some way? Um, I, I uh, so do, do, do you mean the the this kind of thing? Is, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Actually, I mean, this is uh, because this crossing and the inverse of the crossing, they 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 they. they, they they were introduced by Amar uh, uh, in his thesis uh, from in the an an line. Uh, I, yeah, it, I think he gives some <laughs> explanation there. Um, but uh, yeah, because if if it's something anionic, then I would expect it to be something that comes from representation theory. Um, uh, maybe, <laughs> but but. But it isn't obvious to me uh, what the yeah what the relation is. Maybe thanks. Um, if you ever work that out, please let me know because I remember being confused reading Amar's thesis, um, the bits I read because he talks he talks about fermions and so on, and I admittedly uh, ignored that part since I didn't need, need to understand it for what I was doing. Uh, but I'm interested to know if you work it out. Thanks. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll let you know. Uh, I had an application in mind that I was wondering what, if it would be possible to work out in QFINIT ZX calculus and QDIT ZW calculus. Uh, specifically, uh, in QTRIT Clifford plus T, you can unitarily and without ancilla uh, create the qubit W state. And then you can measure that and with two thirds probability get a qubit plus state, which is a magic state in Qtrit Clifford plus T. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know, um, uh, how would you represent this in, how, how if you had to represent this diagrammatically, how would you go about it? Uh, so I didn't really catch your question, so. So um, it, when the a use case I was interested in is how to create qubit states and gates in Q traits or Q dates. Um. Um, and specifically something I found was that there exists a protocol to obtain the qubit plus state in Q trait Clifford plus T allowing measurements. Um. Uh, yes, I, I think as you mentioned uh, and the, the way for now I can think of is like you mentioned the use the Use the the like the, in the cube in the the x you can use the um the the I'll say the the the, the, the dimension splitter thing, um, to change the to go from like qubit to qubit to something like that. I think I I didn't really try. I didn't really try. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, it would be interesting to try sometime. <laughs> okay. Specifically, I don't know how to generalize constructing the qubit W state for more <laughs> number of dimensions. Yeah, I mean, more yeah, number uh, of qubits. Yes, I, I can think about this kind of, also, as I mentioned uh, before, that I, I, for now, I still don't know, I still don't know um, how to represent, uh, how to represent uh, uh, the low, low switching, uh, the, the elementary matrix load switching for for Q for QDs, the load switching matrix. I don't know how to represent them by diagrams. Okay. 
Uh, what do you mean by no switching? Actually? For example, in 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 a Q in a Q treat uh, cases, is so for 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 example, you have a matrix of sides uh, nine times nine. Okay. So how do you represent? How, uh, if you just want to change uh, to swap the first and the second row, how do how do you represent it by diagrams? Oh, I see. Um, do you not have a fantastically intricate ZX um, di uh, diagram? Because you con you constructed the elemental the elementary matrices in QDIT ZX, I believe. Um, in principle, you can. For example, you use a normal form, but I uh, yeah. I, I, I want to have a, I want I, I want to have an elegant one and like. A, a relatively simple one, like I, I show in my in my in my uh, recent paper on representing uh, matrices using the ZS calculus, uh, which is any work any works for the uh, QB case. Mm -hmm. 